The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Are you a card-carrying member of the Mile High Club? Let me show you my card now. A new, a new survey of nearly 12,000 passengers found that only 5% of flyers have done the dirty deed while in the sky, but a whopping 78% want to join that infamous club. Mm. So what would you say? Would you, could you, should you? Uh -uh, Did you? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I, I just read something that you, when you are on a plane, you know, there's so much bacteria that, is that you should sit on, at the window and put that little vent on to avoid all the bacteria. Don't touch the tray table. So if you, know, if, if you wanna avoid getting sick, why on earth would you be having sex? In a public place, you know, you know. Uh, yeah, no. If there's a will, there's a way, but there's just not enough room in those bathrooms. How I, do you know? So you heard, or what? what is this? <sighs> do I have to fess up? Yes. Have you? Yeah. Of course you have, Dr. Gordon. This is well, not surprising. It was, yeah. it was a different time. I mean, you said. It wasn't a different no, time. Nowadays, it was a bathroom. If you tried to have sex on an airplane, you'd be arrested. Well, and they'd the land the airplane, you'd leave the plane in cuffs. You may have a smile on your face, <laughs> yeah. but you would, leave, you would leave the plane in cuffs. But this was back in the 80s. So I was dating uh -huh. a flight attendant. Uh -huh. So that made it a little bit easier. And she was working the shift to Hawaii, DC-10. And the way the DC-10 worked, the galley was down below. There was an elevator uh -huh. that, that went down below get the food and bring it up oh, so boy. and you know back then she could like move me around a little bit and so we we took a trip down the pun intended bit. pun intended yep, we to went move down, me around so. a little bit but this this is what I, we're I mean I've tried I've tried with my wife on on various trips but she doesn't well, want in anything. That's, not her, that's not her deal it's not her deal the but bathrooms are so small now you can't, you can't you can't even you know you go into a 2018 plane right you go in you, you can't even like i can't even like turn around in a bathroom how, how can two people well, even i guess fit? where there's a will there's a way but according to one survey this is this is crazy 30 percent of hookups in air are between strangers like, did they just meet? Was it a conversation? Well, that must have been a good conversation. So people doing it, but where do they do it? Washrooms, 59%. Seats, 31%. Mm. Ga galley is 9%, but this is the best. Cockpit, 1%. Well, like, how do they know the pilot? Do they just say, oh my gosh, I enjoyed the flight. I really liked how you land the plane. I want to thank you. Like, how does that work? How do you well, end up in the cockpit? That I don't know, but I mean, he's putting his, his, his job at risk, letting anybody in the cockpit. That's, a, that's a whole new meaning to the term friendly skies.